All right, it's October 4th and it's 12.17. I had Lincoln at 4.38 in the morning and I have just been sleeping the majority of the time that he has been in this world. I am so tired. I did not really sleep the night before because I had been contracting and then obviously I had been awake the entire time until he was born and then I probably went to bed around like 8 in the morning. Um, so I'm trying really hard to catch up on sleep. He's right here next to me. I am about to nurse him. He has been doing great nursing. Um, I'm about to fill up my water and put in my after ease drops because i have been having some postpartum contractions they have not been that bad i will say and i'm pretty sure it's because of the after ease drops helping i'm just gonna fill this up and then i put about uh two full drops in here two like full syringes so this one and here's the second one and it basically just makes it taste like unsweetened iced tea like nothing really gross um but i'm so thirsty i look so tired oh my gosh i'm still really sick no covid though just a really bad cold I have on the labor and delivery gown they put on me after I had Lincoln but I just took out the clothes I'm about to change in so I have my Auden nursing bra and then um, my nightgown it's just gonna be more comfortable because this keeps falling off which is kind of annoying and then I also have my bathrobe I feel some of those like contractions starting so this is Lincoln, <laughs> he looks so funny. He has some bruising because he came out really fast. I literally pushed for probably a minute all together. I pushed once his whole head came out and then they let Kevin catch him and deliver him and put him on my stomach. Um, and it was insane. It was like the best experience ever. Um, but this is what he looks like. He has super dark hair and he's actually due for a bath, but I want to wait on the bath and I want to bathe him myself at home. Okay, so I ordered five guys and I got a cheeseburger with mayo, lettuce, pickles, tomato, and ketchup. I got a large fry, a small Cajun fry, a peanut butter banana Oreo milkshake, and I also got Kevin a bacon cheeseburger and it should be here in about a half hour All right, I finally got the strength and the courage to get up and change. So I have my nightgown right here and also my robe, but I just put my nursing bra on and oh my gosh, this is like the most comfortable Auden nursing bra I have ever purchased. I never tried it on until now, but it just feels so supportive. I love this. I'm gonna get this in a couple different colors, um, but this is what the stomach is looking like. It looks really small. Honestly, I'm surprised how far I went down. I still have my belly button. I'm rocking the mesh underwear. They're actually really comfortable and I don't think I'm gonna put those like um, diapers that I bought <coughs> on until probably when I leave tomorrow, but this is what I'm looking like right now. And also um, my Perry bottle, I haven't been using this for pain, but I've been using it to help me know when to pee because I just can't feel my muscles down there right now 
but when I spray like the hot water down there, it kind of like triggers that, I don't know, feeling to pee. So <laughs> I've been using this to help me because four days later and my bladder is completely shot. Yeah, she's gone. She's not there anymore. She needs some serious work. Um, but I'm about to put on my nightgown and my bathrobe because I am kind of cold, but I'm also getting some hot flashes. But I put on just a little bit of concealer under my eyes and in my mascara because I looked like a zombie and I felt gross and I actually feel a little bit better now, but um, Lincoln is sleeping, so I'm just gonna quick get dressed and then go back up there. While Lincoln sleeps, I'm gonna show you guys everything that comes in this like little bedside bassinet. So under here, we just put our boppy, which I haven't needed to use. I use this a lot during labor though. I'll probably take it out later tonight or in the middle of the night because I know I'm gonna be tired and want that um, arm support. But in this drawer, um, I just have some swaddles, some like burp cloths, or like changing mats. They're like pretty thick cloth material. Um, they gave me a bunch of shirts, which they're pretty thin and it's honestly kind of cold in here. So I am going to be putting him in a onesie. Um, I've never really dressed my babies during like their postpartum stay. I usually do just have them either naked and like swaddled or in these, but I don't know. I think I'm going to put him in this. And then also um, they gave me a bunch of Pampers diapers. Um, they gave me a binky. I brought these from home because my hospital... Hang on, I gotta push this back. My hospital gives me, like, a bunch of these soft cloths, and I have to run them under warm water. Um, but I am not walking all the way over there for every single diaper change. Just, there's no way. So, I always bring my own wipes, and I love water wipes. Um, I also have my haka in here and some milk storage bags. I doubt I'm gonna need this, though. Um, I haven't seen any sign of like my milk or anything coming in, which is strange because I feel like postpartum, like my milk comes in so quickly and I also forgot my Yeti. So even if I did save my milk, if you guys watched what's in my hospital bag, I mentioned I wanted to store my milk in my Yeti with ice and I forgot it because I don't know, everything just happened so quickly like it usually does. And then I also just have my hand sanitizer in here. I'm also so happy that I brought this because there's actually no hand sanitizer in here and I need this. So that is everything that they put in here. And then we just have like the little bulb right up here. Um, but right now, Lincoln is just sleeping. He's been feeding so good but he hasn't been having that many like dirty diapers. My nurse is about to come in and like hopefully take this IV out because it's tugging and it's itching and it's super uncomfortable, but it's almost four o'clock. Well, it's like four o'clock right now and he hasn't had one poopy diaper yet unless they came in and like changed him and it was poopy, but I don't think it was. So I'm gonna mention that to my nurse. I haven't heard him like make any sort of bowel movement or anything. He did have one wet diaper, but that's like, that was so long ago. He was born at almost five in the morning. So I just want to get that um, checked on, but I'm feeling so good. And oh my gosh, I highly, highly, highly recommend bringing a robe for postpartum because it's so comfortable and oh, I just love my robes so much. I'm still really tired. I like kind of want to sleep, but I also don't want to sleep. I don't know. I feel like I have like some adrenaline rush going on, but that five guys was so good. And I honestly think I might try to take a nap while Lincoln naps and then try and feed him again. 
Um, I try to feed him like every three to four hours and he's been doing such a great job I haven't even needed to use like my nipple cream or anything like that even for like discomfort reasons um, I am gonna be doing like a take two on my hospital bag like everything I use things that I wish that I brought like what my hospital gives me to take home um, because I just feel like you never know what to expect every time you come in like it's just so weird I thought that I would have a really good idea and my whole labor and delivery was not even close to what I thought it was going to be. It's 8 o'clock. I just finished my dinner. It was really nothing special. Kevin isn't here so I'm not able to like get any food delivered so I had to eat the hospital food and right now little buddy is just chilling on the boppy. I'm about to finish feeding him. Um, I just had to take a break because my contractions were just getting so bad. So I'm about to snuggle up with him. Probably turn the lights off in just a minute here and get some sleep. He sleeps so well. So well. He never cries. Hi. Do you hear my voice? He looks so different from all our other boys. Like, I cannot believe how dark his hair is. And how little his eyes are. I feel like all of our boys have had like the biggest eyes. And he just has like such a small like little face. <laughs> but like the chunkiest cheeks. You are just so cute. Lincoln's still hungry, so I'm going to nurse him on the right side, but he had another dirty diaper, and this is how my nurses want to keep track of his diapers, so I just put them right in this little um, cardboard thing, but I'm trying to find the remote to turn this TV off, and I cannot find it, and I really don't want to be walking, oh wait, it's literally right here.
It's 8 in the morning and right now I'm doing some skin to skin. I just put him like right into my nightgown. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so smushed. I think we get to go home today and I really hope we get to go home. I don't mind being in the hospital but I just kind of want to be in my own bed. And <laughs> and be able to like eat my own food. And at like 5.30, I just decided to get up and I watched like the sunrise and then I fell asleep with him in my shirt and they just came in and did his hearing test and he passed and now we're just waiting to be discharged. So I have to wait for my doctor to clear me, which she did, and now I have to wait for his pediatrician to clear him and I'm not sure what pediatrician is on call right now here, so I'm just gonna wait. I'm probably gonna order some breakfast. Um, I'm gonna try and see if I can get someone to bring me like coffee or something, we'll see. Um, I can't get food delivered here because I have no one to go downstairs and get it for me. Cause Kevin's not here, so. Um, Five Guys was the only food that I had delivered and I really would like breakfast delivered. So we'll see if I can like try and get someone to bring me some breakfast. We'll see. But in the meantime, we're just going to keep nursing and changing diapers. My throat is so like froggy because I still don't feel well. But my nurse just took Lincoln to get like some vitals and stuff like that. Um, I'm sitting here filling out a bunch of like paperwork, but I realized that I don't have my Uggs and those are the shoes that I wore here. I think Kevin left them upstairs at labor and delivery and I hope nobody stole them. So I hope that they are here. They're like my favorite pair of Uggs. They have like the knit detailing on them. And I love them so much. I got them from my dad last year. So I hope they have them, but I want to update you guys on the after ease drops. So obviously the water that I have is like huge and they recommend, I think it's like two to, yeah, two to four like full droppers per like water container. Um, this obviously isn't like your standard like water container though. So um, it was very diluted and I didn't feel like the drops were working. I was like, did I get like a placebo like, you know, little bottle? Um, but what I ended up doing was just putting like a little bit of water in and putting two or four drops in and just like slamming the like water and it's been working great. So um, if you are drinking it from a big cup like I am, put more drops in or just don't put as much water in. Um, but my contractions are still a little bit painful, um, tolerable now. And I've been drinking more water. And also, I did end up opening my Earth Mama nipple butter because it has been a little bit uncomfortable i've used about like this much um just because i'm like a it was like a little bit sore last night and i didn't want to like wait to put it on and then be like very very uncomfortable um so i've been using that i'll probably put more on while he's like out and also my pump gets delivered to my house today perfect timing so yeah i'm just gonna probably order some breakfast and i'll probably get like coffee or something once kevin picks me up because i'll probably be discharged i want to say around noon i hope um it's almost like 8 30 so I'm just gonna work on this. I wasn't able to like edit anything. I've been pretty bored. I left my SIM card like attachment somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it's not with me. Oh. So, but I just got to change into the clothes that I came here in because we're about to get ready to go home. So I'm gonna take some pictures of Lincoln and then get him dressed to go home. And we're gonna be out of here. I'm so excited. They also did find my shoes up in the triage room, thankfully. I was getting kind of nervous, but I can't wait to go home and shower. I decided not to shower here because the shower just looked so gross, and I was like, 
I don't feel like standing. <laughs> I don't want to take a shower. I'm just gonna wait till I get home. But I'm so excited. Look at little Bubby. He's so cute. <laughs> like, are you freaking kidding me? Well, you are swimming in this little outfit, huh? Yeah. Let's fold this over. <laughs> you waving? Yeah. Bless you. Don't be sneezes. You have such brown hair. Ready to get out of here? <laughs> <laughs>